Greetings, greetings, and greetings. It's good to have you again. It's good to be back. And as promised, part two of Disarming the Liar. Authentic Kingdom Ambassador is back with you to share with you authentic, healthy aspirations. And we are still on the mind. We need to protect our mind from information that will inevitably destroy us. We can self-destroy based on those information that go into our minds. And also, we need to understand that when we believe lies, we internalize those detrimental information that will inevitably cause us to behave in certain ways according to what we believe. We are understanding that lies are destructive to our minds, to our well-beings. And when we internalize them, they become our behaviors. They become the way we feel. They are our perspective, our worldviews. And those can be very destructive. So let's go in as we share part two of Disarm the Liar. Here we are. Disarm the Liar. And we are always saying to like, subscribe, and share. Do not keep the information to yourself. Share it with others and sub subscribe so that you can have the video when they come out. Stay with us. We are family. We all want to have a healthy mind. So let's go. Disarming the liar part two. Know this. You can't stop a liar from lying to you. But there is something that you can do. Disarm the liar. How? One. Understand the liar's scheme. Two, know what empowers the liar. Three, withdraw what empowers the liar. So whatever empowers the liar, move it away from the liar. When you understand the liar's scheme, you'll know the strategies that you need to use. Just like when there is war, each party or each army study the scheme of the other so that they can be effective in carrying out their defeat. I would like to share with you today how to understand the liar scheme. You need to understand that there is genuine and there is counterfeit. The genuine is the truth. The counterfeit is the lies. As you know, remember we say that there are two spirits. The spirit of truth is the spirit of God, which is the same Holy Spirit. And you have the spirit of lies, which is the devil's spirit, Satan's spirit, the destructive spirit, the one that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Now let's look at 1 John 2, verse 22. Who is a liar? But he who denies that Jesus is a Christ. This is the weapon that the devil used on us. He comes with lies for us to deny our very being, our very existence, our creator, and who creates us. So we lost our value through lies. So when we listen to lies, and that started from the Garden of Eden, when Eve listened to the devil lies and caused the world to plunge into the situation that it is. However, we have hope because Christ came and he redeemed us. And we are the ones now to believe that truth and not believe lies. He who denies the father and the son is a liar. Let's understand the liar scheme. He comes to take our minds, but guess what? Our heavenly father wants our minds. Next, the liar scheme. We need to understand that he wants us to lie to ourselves. So when he gives us that information and when we understand that information and when we take in that information and when we personalize that information and when we start operating into the lies, we believe that they are true all because we do not know the genuine or we refuse to believe the genuine because lies are deception. And remember, they come in nice packages. They come as if they are truth. So you really, really have to know truth in order to differentiate them from lies. Just like you have a counterfeit money note and a genuine money note. It has to go through some kind of test for us 
to guarantee that this is genuine or this is counterfeit. In the same way, we need to find out what is genuine. So we need to understand the liar's scheme. He doesn't want us to know the truth because we will compare truth and knows when we are having lies. If we say, that's 1 John 1 to 8, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So when we say we do not err or anything like that, it means that we become liars. And the scripture told us before that we would become the children of the father of lies and the father of lies is the devil. So we can lie to ourselves, please. Let us not lie to ourselves because it's destructive. Let's look at some genuine verses, some counterfeit. Now, truth is of God, the Father, the Holy Spirit, and lies is of the devil, the deceptions. Look, look, love, love is of God. Lust and hate is a counterfeit. They are counterfeits and they're of the devil. Now, belief is God. God is saying, believe me. And Satan is saying, mistrust God. He's saying, doubt God. That's the counterfeit. God is saying, have faith in me. And Satan is saying, no, I want you to be fearful. So he puts all kind of things in our minds to conjure up all the fears that he knows. We become anxious. We become intimidated. We become numb because of some of the things that are happening around us because he drives fear into us and insanity. We have to understand genuine versus counterfeit. Now, the next one is know what empowers the liars. When we listen to the liar, he feels empowered. When you listen to a liar, you have done that liar very well because that is the purpose for us to listen and to believe. But here's where the scripture is saying, 1 John 17 verse 4, an evil doer listen to wicked lips. So when we listen to the liar, we become evildoers. Do not listen to the liar. And a liar give ears to mischievous tongue. Do not listen to lies and mischief because you will become a child of Satan who is the father of lies. Know what empowers the liar. When we listen to the lies, we are empowering the liar. Also, we are making him our father. Next, withdraw what empowers the liars. To withdraw what empowers the lies is do not believe lies. When we believe lies, the lies are replicated. In other words, the more we believe lies, it's the more lies we will be told. And it's the more lies we'll be existing in. And we become so false that sometimes we can't even understand truth anymore. Second Thessalonians 2, 11 to 12. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. When we start believing lies, pay attention. Hmm, it may be strong delusion. Do not believe lies. That they all may be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. When we believe lies, we put ourselves into the situation to be destroyed. Let us believe truth. Empowering ourselves is to believe truth. Withdraw what empowers the liar by not listening to the liar and do not believe the liar. It is as simple as that. Do not believe the liar. Do not believe lies. How do you do that? By knowing the truth and believe the truth. Next, withdraw what empowers the lies. How do we do that? We can't stop the liar from lying, but we can stop ourselves from believing his lies. That's where we disarm the liar. Do not believe the liar. It is as simple as that. Disarming the liar, how? Don't believe the liar. Don't believe the liar. No, I just want you to remember to subscribe, to share and to like. God bless you. Take care of your mind. Protect that mind. It is very important that you do so. Without that, we will be in serious trouble. Bless you.